Hey developers, how's it going? Welcome to a new video which will be an introduction of a new course on my YouTube channel. In this course you will learn how to design and build solid and structured databases and integrate them with your Android apps. I will start from zero so I assume that you know nothing about databases until you build your first database. This course will be for Android developers whether you are beginner or experienced because this course follows the best practices of designing and building a database. But you can skip watching the first couple videos only if you know the basics about database other than that you have to watch them. Also we will build two apps throughout this course because I actually believe that the best way of learning something is by practicing. So as I said we will build two apps throughout this course and the first app will be a simple notes app that has a database and that database has only one table and the second app will be at the last video of this course or in this playlist and which will we just apply all the all the principles and all the concepts that we learn throughout this course and we put them together in one project. So enough talking for now, let's jump in and start with this course. Okay, so why we actually need a database in apps? So the answer for this question is because we actually need a way to save the user data even if the user closed the app or even if the user shut down the device, we don't want to lose his data. And whenever the user come back to the application, we want to be able to show and display the data that the user saved. And databases are represented by one table or multiple tables. Now let's take a look on how a table is represented in a database. So as you can see, this is a table that holds students information in a school. So this table has five columns and 10 rows. And by the way, a column also could be called an attribute and a row can be called a record. So as we said, we have here five columns or five attributes. The first one is ID and we have the name column. We have a class, we have mark, we have gender. And in each column, you can save a specific value. So the ID column can save number uh, numbers and the name column can save strings. Class column can save strings. Mark column here can save number and gender column can save also strings. And as we said, there are also 10 rows or 10 records. So the ID of the first student is when and the name of the student whose ID is when is John Dio. And here also the class. So the, the class of the student that his ID one is four and the mark of the student that his ID one is 55 and the gender of the, uh, of the student that his ID is one is female and so on for the other nine other nine rows or records. So let's say you want to know all the information about John Mike. So we go to the ID number five and we find that the ID number five, the name of that ID is John Mike and you can get all the information about that student. And each table in a database must have a primary key. So what is a primary key? So a primary key is simply a column that its values can't be duplicated. So the ID here is a primary key because we can't find two, student, two students that have the same ID. And another example for, for that is the ID number of any person. So there can't be two persons that have the same ID number or the passport number and so on. So as you can see, the primary key of this table is the ID. So a primary key is just a unique value that you give to your record to identify it from the other records. That's it. Okay guys, so that was all for this video. Now you know the basics about databases and you know that databases is consist of tables and you know that tables have columns and rows and a primary key. So that's it actually for this video. We will continue in the next video where I will show you how we can actually get and manipulate in these values. So for example, if you wanna insert in your student in your table or if you wanna uh, search about a student and delete, update, and all of this operation, I will talk about them in the next video. And after I finish that video, which is, which is gonna come after this one, we will move to Android Studio and I will show you how you can build your face database and integrate it with your Android app. So we're basically gonna build a note app at the third video of this course. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna support me, just click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow my page on Instagram. The link is in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and catch you in the next video.